Hey everyone, what's up? It's Balanced Expressionist here today. And today I wanted to talk about why meat and dairy are not good for the body. Through a standpoint of Chinese medicine. And I'll also be explaining this as an analogy with body as a machine as well. So just stay with me for a moment. But my grandparents used to use these terms as well. But in Chinese medicine, there's, there's these terms for food, yin and yin, yin and yan, yin and yang. <laughs> but yin foods cool the body down. Yin foods are watery foods, like such as cucumber, apples, oranges, bananas, like fruits and vegetables that are made of like 90% water. And water, obviously as well. Water cools your body down. Then yin, yin, yang foods are things such as lots of spices, meat, dairy, alcohol, other products such as soy as well, but lots of vegetables as well such as eggplant, cauliflower, chickpeas hot. Maybe chickpeas too, but and my favorite, dates. Dates are a yang fruit. Why be people can't let go of dairy and meat, and even alcohol, since alcohol is a yang, is because they're all yang, so they all heat your body up. People like heat in their body it brings them comfort, lots of comfort, and you know that isn't necessarily a bad thing. You're supposed to balance your yin and your yang, but what milk, what dairy and meat do is that they excessively heat your body a lot, they heat it up a lot, and you know maybe like back in the day when like meat was just like a tiny little, little bit portion that you got maybe it wouldn't heat your body up that much but look at how much we eat meat today like every people eat it with every meal people, that's all people eat people can't stand to eat without it it's insane and it heats your body up like crazy and that causes inflammation. Inflammation is the root of all disease and sickness. People don't balance their yin and their yang. Now, drink lots of water or eat lots of fruits and vegetables. They are essential. It is essential that you get that water in your body. Water detoxes you. Water detoxes you and it cleanses your body out. Your body is made of like 90% water, 95% water, right? But then also, if you, when you start to eat less meat, less dairy, if you stop, if you go vegan, whatever you do, eat lots of dates. Dates are amazing, they heat your body up. Eat eggplant, eat lentils. Lentils, good one. Get a, lot, get a lot of protein through lentils as well. Eat soy, eat cauliflower, eat chickpeas, eat beets, eat foods that warm your body up. And you'll notice that your body will feel warm but without all, any of the excessive warmth. You will start to feel the balance in your body when you let go of meat and dairy. You feel the balance between meat and yang and you know what your body needs. You're in tune with your body. You become in tune with your body. And it's really it's something that's really forgotten in our society. And it's another reason why eating vegan is responsible and right. For not only for yourself, but for others and the environment again. And I implore you to drink more water, eat more of these yang fruits and vegetables, and kick back a little, a little on the meat and see what goes down. Maybe you'll be surprised, you never know. I had so many 
health problems that were solved from going vegan. So many. I didn't even go vegan for the health problems. I went vegan because of the environment and the health side effects just kicked in as well and I wasn't spending any more time on the toilet. I was in tune with my body. I wasn't feeling like shit all the time. But that is my insight for the day. Infinite love. Thanks for going with me. Until next time.